Okay, so this is just a quick video here to show you some of the basics with Excel and how we can use it to create a budget. So I have just a basic budget here with some categories. So you're going to want to take what is inside of each of these categories and add up those values. So for our first one home, let's say, for example, that value with rent and utilities, electric and all of that stuff, let's say that's about $2,000 for our cost here. Uh, transportation, that is going to be, if I have a car payment, uh, insurance monthly and gas monthly. So um, let's say we have maybe a car payment of $150. We spend about $100 in gas, so that's $250 and we have insurance of $100. So that's gonna be $350. Communication is going to be a uh, phone, internet, cable, things like that. So let's say that that is uh, about $100 per month. Health, that is going to be if you are paying any out of pocket on your health insurance, if it's not already deducted from your paycheck, or if you have any doctor's visits that you visit monthly, or maybe you are seeing, um, seeing someone monthly, like a psych psychologist or a psychiatrist, um, also any medications. So let's just say maybe that only it's medications, vitamins, and that's $30 a month. Um, debt is going to be any debt except for the car payment since we already put that in the transportation category. So for our debt, let's say maybe a student loan payment, um, any credit cards that we have, any debt like that. Um, I live without debt, um, so I don't have anything in this category. Let's just put an arbitrary number here. For example, I do $100. Um, daily living. So daily living, this is going to be another big expense because this is going to be your groceries, any personal items, shopping, uh, clothing, things like that. Okay, so daily living expenses, let's say, um, we'll say maybe family of family of four here. Uh, we'll go around $2,000. Oh, that's 200 Okay, entertainment, that's gonna be eating out, vacation, any of those subscription services like Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, all those little little bits and pieces here that you're adding up. Let's say uh, that category with eating out, well, we'll say that's about 500 a month. Children, now obviously if you don't have children, you would skip this category, but this is gonna be daycare, babysitters, if your kids are playing sports, uh, anything like that, uh, you guys would probably uh, eyes would bug out of your head if you saw what uh, we spend on our children with these things here. So um, let's just say, we'll just say daycare. I'm just going to make something up. Um, we're going to go with $800, which is pretty uh, pretty cheap these days. Savings. So if you are able to save retirement accounts, investment accounts, savings accounts, anything here, you're going to get a put here. So let's just, we're gonna, just going to do a small amount here, trying to stick to something that might work more with some of these college students. Um, tithing, so if you are religious and you tithe, go ahead and put this in here. If you are not, then you can go ahead and skip this category. That is totally up to you. I'm just gonna put this here at $200. Okay, so once you get everything filled out, you are going to create a total in here. So for my total category, you have two options. You can use the auto sum feature, that is fine. You just hit auto sum. It's going to automatically grab these values here. If not, you would just type this formula in here, equals sum, S-U-M, then parentheses, and then you just select these values here. So this is $6,430. So let me delete that, show you again. So equals sum, open parentheses, and then I would select all of these values here, close parentheses, enter. Okay, so this is our total. And um, I'm not going to put an income category on here, so that is completely up to you guys. But obviously know that making a budget, you want this total to be less than your income because if it is more than what you're bringing in, then you have a budgeting problem, of course. So that's why we use budgets so we can look at the categories and say, okay, where can I cut costs possibly and go from there so that you can keep this as balanced as possible. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to create a circle graph for this. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to highlight, I'm going to hold 
all of these values here, highlight all of these, and I'm going to insert a circle graph. So I'm going to go to insert. And then I've got all of these charts here. I want to click on this little box with an arrow down here to see all the charts. Excel is actually going to recommend some smart charts for you. So you've got a bar chart here, vertical and horizontal, and you have a circle graph. So there's your circle graph here. I'm going to click OK, I chart, and there you go. Now we want to know what the percentages for each category are. So let's make this a bit bigger here so I can see it. And I'm going to look at my chart styles. And let's see, this one has some percentages. This one also has percentages. Um, let's see, I think I kind of like this one here. This one here is pretty good too. We'll go with this one. Okay, and then we can come here, we can say budget. And it's just a simple exercise in creating this chart. See where your expenses are going. You can change the colors and formatting here if you'd like. So that oh, looks a little dark. Yellow. Eh, I think I like the different colors here. This guy looks good. Okay. So you can look here. You say, oh, look, the blue category and the green category are both really big. Where? What are those categories? So you've got home and then daily living. And you can kind of look there and see where your percentages fall. But that's just your quick video here on how to create this. Then, of course, you would save it and upload it into your assignment. So I'll save, and then you would go ahead and upload it into the assignment and click submit, and that's it.